We welcome you back to this Thursday afternoon of what's new with a live look from Skyline of our Skyline this afternoon. And we'd like to uh, wish our wonderful city of Cleveland a very happy birthday. The city founded Betsy Kling 225 years ago today. That's even before I was born. What? I mean, it's been a long time. <laughs> But that's uh, that's how long that goes back. There's, I mean, <laughs> it's it's such a great history that we have too. We really do. Very winding road. Um, qu quite a crazy city that we live in. For my money, the best city in the United States. Yeah. Well, there Nowhere is so much that uh, has been going on and changing over the decades. So we decided to have our Mike Polk Jr. <laughs> tell us why we should celebrate all things Cleveland with a little history lesson. Thanks to the man who founded our great city. It was 225 years ago today that Moses Cleveland landed at the mouth of the Cuyahoga and decided that this place would be the perfect spot for the Capitol. And today we celebrate. Young men, happy Cleveland Day. Happy Cleveland Day. Cleveland fans. Moses did not linger here. After founding the city, he returned to Connecticut, never to come back to Cleveland again. He left in October, which means, ironically, he himself never got to experience one of our infamous Cleveland winters. What a jerk. Happy Cleveland Day to you, young lady. Cleveland facts. The Moses Cleveland statue here in Public Square was erected in 1888 at the cost of $4,378. In today's money, that's about 125K. And in case you were ever wondering what the general's holding, those are surveyor's tools. That's a Jacob staff in his right hand and a compass in his left. Happy Cleveland Day. Cleveland facts. Get this, did a little digging, and Moses Cleveland's mother's awesome, old-timey maiden name really was Thankful Pain. That means the mother of our city is Thankful Pain. And that rules. Happy Cleveland Day to you, Mab. Happy Cleveland Day to you, sir. Cleveland facts. Moses was feeling a little braggadocious later in life and was quoted as saying, While I was in New Connecticut, I laid out a town on the bank of Lake Erie, which was called by my name. And I believe the child is now born that may live to see that place as large as Old Wyndham. A bold statement to be sure back in the day, because at that time, Old Wyndham was a real hot spot. As of the last census, Old Wyndham has about 25,000 people living there. So we are dominating Old Wyndham and far exceeding our founders' expectations. To be fair, Old Wyndham does have a Ruby Tuesday, so it's not like there's no nightlife. You're nailing it, Cleveland. Happy Cleveland Day to all of you. My favorite thing about uh, Moses Cleveland is the fact that his name was actually spelled C-L-E-A and that the newspaper shortened it because it wouldn't fit in the headline. <laughs> so they just botched his name and now it's forever misspelled. I just like that his surveyor's tools are like huge. <laughs> That's the biggest compass yeah. ever. Well, when you're surveying a city like Cleveland, you need some awesome surveying tools. That's how we roll. And he clearly was the man for the job. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up in the next... <laughs>